social services. CEO Julie Edwards says men living inside the man box are struggling with many aspects of their lives. The man box is a set of beliefs that uh, young men experience um, from a range of sources within society, but they experience it as putting pressure on them to act in a certain way. And the certain way that is identified is to act tough, to be in control, that they should have multiple sexual partners, uh, the sort of stereotypic, stereotypical masculine norms uh, that they actually pick up as being pressured into behaving like from society. And they say that they feel these pressures from the time they were a boy. While two-thirds of young men say they have felt these pressures from the time they were a boy, um, actually many reject them. And what we do have though is a small but significant minority of about um, a third who say that they endorse those beliefs. And what we're able to do is to create a score um, to say that if the men endorse those beliefs, we were able to say they are in the man box. And those who rejected them were more outside the man box. Now what we found that for those young men who are in the man box, not only were they more likely to uh, perpetrate violence um, and bullying, online bullying, making uh, sexual comments to women they didn't know in a public place, those sorts of things, but we also found that they were not travelling well themselves. They were more likely to be involved in car accidents, drink more heavily, more likely to be thinking about suicide. 44% of young men said they had thoughts of suicide in the past two weeks. I think the first thing we need to do is to make sure that people are aware of the harmful effects of being in the man box rather than just you know comments like boys will be boys. We need to be aware of the harmful effects of the man box. I think we then need to loosen its grip uh, and I'd say that we can do that by having conversations. All of us can have conversations with the boys and men in our life uh, to understand the pressures that they are under and I think the main thing is to create alternatives to create healthy models of masculinity and for us to open up opportunities to boys and men to be their best selves.